Mr. Bradshaw at AdSumToYourIncome.com here to answer the question, what can I do to make a lot of money? Today, with answering this question, we're going to ask questions. We're going to ask a lot of questions. I'm taking this from a book that I highly recommend, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This book will help you to take an inventory of yourself, which is what we're doing today. I'm going to take the 28 questions from the self-inventory of this book, read each of those questions, and briefly talk about what that means for you and how you can make a lot of money when you don't just do the inventory, but actually take the action from the questions that are being asked. Again, this is the work from this book I highly recommend, Think and Grow Rich, as we look at the personal inventory that is outlined in that book. Let's dive in. The first question is, have I attained my goal that I established as my objective for this year? This is the end of the year. Every year at the end of the year, you can do a self-inventory. You could do this self-inventory found in How to Think and Grow Rich each year at the end of the year. Have I delivered service of the best possible quality of which I was capable, or could I have improved any part of this service. Thinking on this question, the quality that you're putting into your service will help you make a lot of money. Have I delivered service in the best possible quantity of which I was capable? Notice that the last question was quality. I love that this now looks at not, am I, not just I'm producing a nice quality service, product, whatever it is you're producing, but that you are also delivering in the greatest possible quantity. Are you getting out your high quality, your best quality, let's say? And are you getting out a lot of it to a lot of people? Are you serving lots of people with your service? Has the spirit of my conduct been harmonious and cooperative at all times. I loved picking this piece of a puzzle with the, the red piece, just obviously there. See, there's you, okay? And you have this whole network of people that you're connected to. That's all the little pieces on one side. And then you have a whole bunch of other people. <laughs> and when you live harmoniously and cooperatively, you will find your network becomes rich and especially helpful for you in the way that you interact with others. Have I permitted the habit of procrastination to decrease my efficiency? Oh, uh, procrastination it can be such a simple thing uh, to put off, to uh, not have the discipline uh, to get done what's, what you, you need to get done. Beware of it, know that it's happening, and stick to your plan. Of, of course, at the end of this question, you know, to what extent are you going into that habit of procrastination and is decreasing your efficiency? How much are you letting that happen in your life? How much? This is a self-inventory and looking at ways to make more money. When you can do that and really look, your inefficiencies and then decrease your procrastination you will see success. Have I improved my personality? And if so, in what ways? Are you going to workshops? Are you working to make yourself better? Are you doing what you need to take, what you need to do to keep yourself healthy and work on your personality? 
Have I been persistent in following my plan? All right, so you have plans, you have goals, you, you've laid them out, and then have you persistently pursued with passion your plans? All the way to fruition. All the way to harvest. All the way through. Have you reached decisions promptly and definitively on all occasions? You make a choice promptly. You just make that choice. And it's a definitive choice. And you move forward with it. Have I permitted any one or more of the six basic fears to decrease my efficiency? I say here, read the book, because <laughs> in the book, there's this talk about these six basic fears that will decrease your e e efficiency, making you inefficient. Like, what just happened? Ah. I'm going to say that, that small moment of, of inefficiency where I bumped... I I'm, I have these on a stand, and it bumped and it moved me, is okay. Thank you for letting me take a pause and realize that. Let's continue on. I'll work on being a little bit higher quality later. <laughs> have I been overcautious or undercautious? How are you living your life? Are you being blazoned and moving forward way too fast, quick, risky? Are you being sherry is the word. Sherry means that you are overcautious. You are really taking it too careful. And it is a balance. And you'll find it. Has my relationship with my colleagues in work been pleasant or unpleasant? And if it has been unpleasant, has the fault been partly or wholly mine? Reminded me of that puzzle piece again. <laughs> Have I dissipated any of my energy through lack of concentration or effort? Do you have that focus? You'll make a lot of money when you focus. Keep your energy going towards your focus. Have I been open-minded and tolerant in connection with all subjects? I, I've got a lock here because when you can unlock your mind and be open and finding, asking the questions, you, you will find yourself getting those connections, bringing it all together in a way that will make you successful. In what ways have I improved my ability to provide service. In what ways are you working on you? Making what you do better and better for others. Have I been intemperate in any of my habits? And I chose chocolate here. It's, it's, it's tempting to eat chocolate all day. Are, are you giving in to habits that make you intemperate? Are you able to temper your habits? Have I expressed either openly or secretly any form of egotism? And I put here a picture of a rowboat. I have recently came across a story of the rowing team from the United States who was very underfunded. They were just a bunch of farm boys, really. And they went to the Summer Olympics. What happened is what's called swing, where all of a sudden they all got in the swing of things, right? And they became a team. And they it, it, they won, and it wasn't because they were better, better funded, better trained. No, they clicked. They clicked together. Beware of your egotism, open or secret, and know that it needs to change. So that you can be that puzzle piece. Has my conduct toward my colleagues been such that it has induced them 
to respect me? Have my opinions and decisions been based upon guesswork or accuracy of analysis and thought? Especially the making the decisions. You might have some opinions that are you know, needing to change, but especially your decisions. Double check. It is an accurate, thought out choice that you are making. Have I followed the habit of budgeting my time, my expenses, and my income? And have I been conservative? in these budgets. How much time have I devoted to unprofitable effort which I might have used to better advantage? You don't get time back. How are you using your time? How will you rebudget time and change habits to be more efficient during the coming year? Have I been guilty of any conduct that was not approved by my conscience? There's a lot of talk, and I've done a lot of research into mindfulness. You can find out about mindfulness. You can find out if you're being mindful. You can find out if you are acting from a place of harmony within. In what ways have I provided more service and better service then I was paid for. You want to make a lot of money. You provide service. Better, higher quality than the people paid for. Have I been unfair to anyone? And if so, in what way? When you're honest with yourself about this, you can fix a lot of the issues. Your money. If I've been the purchaser... If I had been the purchaser of my own services for the year, would I have been satisfied with my purchase? Has the purchaser of my services been satisfied with the service I have provided? And if not, why not? <laughs> what are you going to do to change it as well? Am I in the right vocation? And if not, why not? People ask me if I like my job. I say no. I love my job. I love what I do. I am in the right vocation. Are you? Take that first answer. If that answer is that you're not, you live in the land of plenty, bounty. You live in a world in which you have the ability to change your future. So change. What is my present ranking on the fundamental principles of success? I appreciate that you have come along with me through these questions that, again, all come from this book, Think and Grow Rich. This is the way to be successful in life, which includes money, by Napoleon Hill. And I look forward to seeing you on the other side.